What is going on guys, Fitcher here and welcome to another challenge video here on F1 2017. Now, if you thought my previous challenge, the pad challenge, was difficult like I did, things are taking a massive step up, things are getting a lot, lot harder today. We're stepping from the pad to the keyboard. That's right guys, today we are doing the keyboard challenge and we're doing it here at Singapore, another very difficult street circuit, a bit like Monaco, and again under the floodlights. Now, I have no idea what the controls are for the keyboard. So I'm going in completely blind like I had some sort of idea with the pad You know use the triggers to accelerate and break and the um, thumbstick to turn I think it was A and B or something to change gears I have absolutely no clue for the keyboard and just to make things even more fun I'm, I'm gonna start this at least with no assist now as far as I know It's just gonna be one of the buttons on the keyboard to control the throttle and the brake So I'm gonna have absolutely no control over how much input I'm putting in it's gonna be zero or a hundred percent So no assist with that is gonna be interesting Anyway, let's get into this. Here we go. Hold space to engage the clutch. Haze accelerate. And it's lights out and away we go. How do I change gear? How do I change gear? How do I change gear? How do I... Oh no, I've, I've hit the flashback button. That was not... That's not ideal. Okay, okay, let's just... Let's keep going. Okay, that, I'm... No. How do, how do I change gear? No, nope, that's pause. Okay, that's accelerate. Oh, okay, okay. Shift is down shift. What's up? Up shift then. Oh, Z is... Oh, no. Oh, I've gone back to flashback. Okay, X is flashback. A is accelerate. Z is brake. Shift is down shift. So, cap lock is up shift then? Nope, caps lock is not up shift. Oh, I'm going in reverse now. No, I'll get disqualified if I do that. How do I steer? How, how do I steer? Oh, somehow I've gotten into... How have I gotten into neutral? I'm not... I'm, I've been disqualified. This is not a good start to this challenge. This is really not a good start. Okay, attempt number two. Hulk... Okay, maybe spacebar is shift up, considering that is also the clutch. Let's see if that logic is any good. Yes, it is. I found how to upshift. I, okay, okay. I can upshift, I can brake, I can downshift, I can accelerate. But I still cannot turn. I still I still don't know how to turn the steering wheel. Okay, it, it's not the arrows. Um, okay, 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 okay. Let's accelerate. Let's downshift a couple gears. No, I'm... Let's see if I can Jake pros of this and use the walls. No, that's upshift, downshift, downshift. That's back out of the wall a little bit. Now brake, and now up a gear, and accelerate. Use the... No, no, we've knocked off our tire. Okay, we've got most of the controls nutted out, but I still do not know how to actually steer the car. Oh, 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 I found it, I found it, I found it. Let's go, let's go. No, anti-stall. Go. I've, I've, I've worked out how to steer. Ah! Come on, upshift, upshift. Here we go, down to turn number one, downshift, downshift, oh, this is, ah, no, oh, I pressed the wrong button, I've gone to flashback, shit, 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 this is, yep, this is not going well, this is really not going well, here we go again, I think this is attempt number four, let's accelerate, I've worked out all the controls now, now I just have to work out the coordination to put it all together, and get a lap of this Singapore Grand Prix circuit done as now we head down towards turn number one. We've survived a corn. No, we've spun it. Let's just flick spin it back around. And then, oh no, we've spun it too far. Okay, let's, oh no, 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 no. See, this is the problem with the keyboard. I'm running no assists. It's not bloody possible. Like, look at the throttle input. I, that's, it's the A button is to accelerate. So it's literally... Full acceleration or nothing. It's trying to control the power. It, it's not possible. I'm going to have to turn traction control and ABS on. Or otherwise, this is just physically not possible, this challenge. Here we go. I think this is attempt number five. We'll work down all the controls. We've got the traction control on now. So we should be able to do this theoretically as we get off the line quite nicely. You know, not having a fight with the traction anymore as we head down towards turn number one. Get the car turned and it looks like they'll momentarily fall wide. Our head is not, I'm forgetting all the controls. Trying to put it all together. 
in one and be coordinated is very, very difficult. The controls don't really make all that much sense to me. You know, you accelerate and brake with A and Z, and then you upshift with the spacebar. You downshift with the shift um, button, and then you turn with the um, the comma and the full stop. The buttons next to um, M and N. It's it, it's so weird. I this is gonna take some a lot of getting used to. Like. Oh, down to turn eight. We're going to end up in the wall, I feel like. Yeah, we're in the wall. We're, I think that was with Pascal Verlan. I don't know how to look back, so we're not going to look back and see who we actually crash with. Oh, almost out into the wall. Is now we're, we're down the straight towards the Singapore sling. We've gotten a fair way this time. Can we downshift enough, get through that corner now? No, that's, that's the upshift button, not the brake button. Shit. Is now over the bridge we go. We should probably downshift a couple gears. Is now down to the hairpin. Marcus Ericsson is out of the race, but we don't really give a shit. That is not our priority right now. We're just trying to survive a lap of this Singapore Street Circus. We're getting. Oh no, that's not the brake button. What's the brake? No. Oh, forgetting the controls at the end of a long straight. It's not a good thing to happen. It's, it's really bad. Not knowing how to how to stop your car for a corner at the end of a straight when you're up in seventh gear going 300k an hour. It's not ideal. It's really not. Okay, attempt six or seven. I don't know. I've stopped counting. But anyway, it's five lights. And it's now lights out. And away we go. Let's try to remember these controls. I have my fingers over the arrow keys, not the comma and the uh, full stop to turn. And I've sorted that out before the first corner, so we are all right. It's now down towards turn number three up the inside of Esteban Ocon, but we cannot pull that move off. As now we head down towards turn number five, get the car through. No, that's the upshift. No, I've, I've upshifted, downshifted, and then accelerated while trying to accelerate out of that corner. That is really not ideal as we've got Perez going up our inside. Oh, we'll put it in the wall. That's a lot of contact with the wall as we head down. Oh, no, no, no. Illegal overtake. We've survived. And we've got an illegal overtake on Perez, but that is now gone. I was going to say no damage for this challenge, but right now I am beyond caring about the damage. That is not my priority as now we get... Oh, no, I've still... Oh, here we go again. Can we just survive one single lap? Surely we can do it. We've made it all the way to turn 14 on one of the previous... No, nope, that's not the turn, the steering buttons. I've done it again. Going to the... Up ah! Ah! No, that's bad. Man, these controls are so difficult to get your head wrapped around. I'm not even kidding. They're the weirdest controls. I have ever seen, they don't seem to make any logical sense to me, I cannot get used to these controls as we head down towards turn number one yet again and we've got, I think it's Lance Stroll diving up, Aaron Sun, I've gone to upshift instead of accelerate, that's always good, as now we head down towards turn number three and back on the power we go, spacebar is upshift, spacebar is upshift, and Z is brake shift to downshift and we turn through there quite nicely, we got in that corner quite nice, I must admit. Probably the best corner we have done so far. Starting to make some sort of sense of these controls as we head down the back straight hard on the brakes and get the car stopped and then back on the power, running it a little bit wide, but I actually could not. Oh, no, whoops. Accelerate, accelerate, there we go. Sorted it out, just getting the controls again. You know, uh, ah, no, that's downshift, not brake. Kept it out of the wall. Oh, we're being smashed off by Magnuson. That is just fabulous as we head down towards where the Singapore sling normally is. We've got a lot. Oh, no, we're in the wall. Fucking hell. Here we go again. Surely we can survive just one lap of this Singapore circuit. How difficult can it be? And it's five lights. And away we go as we head down towards turn number one. And onto the brake. No, that's not the Oh, my God. The controls. <laughs> I went to downshift instead of brake, and I opened up the MFD instead of turning. For fuck's sake. Oh, I cannot get my head wrapped around these controls. Honestly, they are so, so weird. And we've just T-boned the side of, I think that is Esteban Ocon. We've gone sort of into the back of him, I guess you could say. But still, far out. You wouldn't think the controls would be that difficult to get your head around, surely. A to accelerate. Z to break. Come on, let's do this. It's five lights and it's lights out. 
And away we go on a uh, space bar to upshift as we head down towards the first corner and downshift. That was shift, wasn't it? Downshift is shift. Shift, downshift, shift. Okay, now we head down towards turn. No, no not upshift, accelerate. I've upshifted instead of accelerating. That is not ideal as now we head down towards, I think this is turn. No. Oh, fuck. Z is to break. Z is to break. Come on. It, sh it shouldn't be too hard to remember that. Z is to break. It's just below the button I use to accelerate and it lights out. And away we go. I've lost count of how many attempts I have had. I really don't care right now. I just want to survive one lap here at Singapore as we head down towards turn number three. That's very aggressive. We've got a little bit of damage, but I don't think that matters. We're all the way up into the top ten now as we head down towards turn number five. We've missed the apex by an absolute country mile and Sergio Perez has taken that opportunity with both hands as now we head through the fast kink at turn number six. We head down towards turn number seven hard on the brakes. Get the car just about stopped for the corner and Perez gets back up our inside as we run it a little bit deep. And Oh, we've got someone up our inside. What are you doing, Carlos? There was no gap there for you to go for. That was a little bit aggressive from you, I must admit. We'll be knocked back down out of the top 10s. We clip the wall there ever so slightly. Now our teammate is coming down our inside. We're just going to try to cut him off as he's fighting with a oh, horse. That's an interesting line through that tight right-hander is now over the bridge. We go and now back onto the brakes down the gears. We go for the hairpin. No, that's off ships, uh, up shift instead of accelerate. And onto one of the few straights here in Singapore. Back onto the brakes for turn 14. Back down the gearbox to second gear. And we do actually find second gear. We almost didn't, but I did manage to get the car shifted all the way down as to this tight right hand. And then we flick it back to the left. Keep it out of the wall just about. And now up to one of the tightest corners on the track under the grandstand. We go and we do manage to survive that. Now careful of the wall. We touch it ever so slightly. And now through the last couple of corners. We only have two corners to go. We might be about to do it. Grab the brake downshift. Turn in back onto the power. And up to the line. Yes, yes, yes. We have done it. We have completed one single lap of the Singapore Grand Prix circuit. And unlike the pad challenge. I'm not doing another one. Fuck that shit. Honestly. Holy shit, the keyboard is ridiculous on this game. Getting my head around those controls took a very long time. And still by the end, I was getting the controls mixed up. They were very, very strange. I think I did say it a few times. Eight is to accelerate, which I guess makes some sort of sense. Z is to decelerate, or break, I should say, which is right below it. Then you've got shift to downshift, which is to the left of Z. And then you use the space bar to upshift. And then comma to turn left and full stop to turn right. Some of the weirdest controls I have ever used for a racing game on a keyboard. I've played a few where you use like the arrow keys or WASD or something to um to steer. Maybe the arrow keys to steer and then you use like A and S or something to upshift and downshift. And you use uh, the up arrow to accelerate, the down arrow to break left and right to steer. Like something logical like that. But no, no, no. The controls here are retarded as hell. I must admit that was... That was ridiculously hard. It was harder than I honestly thought it would be. I had to actually get my head around the controls, which I thought would be fairly simple to do. It would be, it would be, dif it would be difficult with the inputs, where it's 100% steering or zero. Same with the acceleration and the braking. So I thought that would be the difficult bit. But just remembering what buttons what was the hardest part of that challenge. And it was ridiculous trying to remember all the controls, as they're so weird and illogical, I guess you could say. Jeez, that was, that was a painful challenge, I will admit. So, that was the keyboard challenge. A ridiculously hard challenge, like I just said. The controls are just... They don't make any sense to me. But anyway, that was the keyboard challenge. I hope you guys did enjoy that. If you've got any other challenges you'd like to see me do, make sure you do comment them down below. I do enjoy making challenge videos. As much as I have complained after this one because of the ridiculous controls, I do enjoy giving myself a challenge and doing some different stuff, thinking outside of the box and doing some uh, not-so-normal things, not just normally racing like I would on this game, doing some random shit like this. It is pretty fun. I do want to continue doing this, and I hope you guys are enjoying these sort of videos. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you do smash that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you do subscribe for much, much more F1 2000.
2017 content. Thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Xvitro, and I'll see you all next time.